Hello, gals and ghouls. Happy October. October is a wonderful month. Fall is in full swing. The leaves are falling. There's that eerie feeling in the air that tells us Halloween is coming. With that being said, I want to talk to you all about the things that go bump in the night, the things that make the hair on the back of your neck stand up straight, and the things that send a chill down your spine. Join me, Morbid Mildred, a Halloween and monster expert, as we talk about this week's terrifying monster, Frankenstein. Who is Frankenstein? Where did he come from? What exactly makes him so scary? Is he even scary at all? Well, in order to answer these questions, we need to learn a little bit more about the history of Frankenstein. The name Frankenstein comes from a novel called Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus, written by a teenager named Mary Shelley in 1818. Fun fact, this novel is considered the first true science fiction novel. The idea for Frankenstein came to Shelley in a fantasy one sleepless night. She imagined what it would be like if a mad scientist gave life to something that was already dead, and how the scientist would react when this creation would begin to move. Shelley scared herself so much that she had to snap herself back to reality. Let's fast forward to a vacation Shelley took with her future husband and a few of his friends. During this vacation, they were all bored and frustrated with the horrible summer weather they had been experiencing. So what better way to lighten the mood than by having a horror story writing competition? Shelley transforms her fantasy that frightened her long ago into a written work and wins first place. So what is this super scary story even about? A young scientist by the name of Victor Frankenstein, yes, the monster's name is not Frankenstein, it's the scientist, wants to create life himself. He carefully stitches together body parts from others that have passed on to create a brand new body. He brings his creation to life one night during a huge electrical storm. The creature terrifies Frankenstein. He cannot believe what he's just done. He's created a literal monster. The monster begins to slay innocent people without any reason or cause. Frankenstein is determined to take down this abomination that he just created. He chases the creature into the Arctic, but dies before he can reach him. The monster ends up meeting his demise as well. Okay, so Frankenstein, or maybe we should start referring to him as Frankenstein's monster, isn't such a great guy. Some might say downright evil. But is that all that makes the story so scary? Well, yes and no. While the monster itself is horrifying, I mean the guy is stitched together from different body parts that don't belong to him, but Dr. Victor Frankenstein, when you think about it, is a bit of a monster himself. He wanted to defy the laws of nature by creating life himself and ended in complete disaster. The story of Frankenstein and his monster is quite morbid, thanks to Mary Shelley. So let's lighten things up a bit, shall we? When you hear the name Frankenstein, what comes to mind? Let me guess. A tall green guy with black hair, giant forehead, bolts in his neck, wears something that looks like a suit for some reason. Well, you would be correct. Kind of. Once Hollywood got a hold of Frankenstein's monster, they transformed him into the creature that you can so easily recognize today. In reality, Frankenstein's monster looked nothing like that. Mary Shelley described the monster as eight feet tall, hideously ugly, with almost transparent yellow skin pulled very tightly across his body to the point where you can easily see most of his veins glowing eyes that were always watery, flowing black hair, black lips, and very white teeth. Okay, so if that's the case, how did we end up with the green guy? Truth is, there really is no concrete answer. As stories are passed on and adapted for screen, changes are bound to be made. 
Speaking of movies, Mary Shelley's novel has inspired more than 130 movies around the world. The very first movie about Frankenstein and his monster was made in 1912 by our friend Thomas Edison. Yeah, the light bulb guy. It was about 15 minutes long. This is how Edison interpreted Frankenstein's monster. It's pretty interesting how this monster looks nothing like the other two versions we discussed earlier. So where do you rank Frankenstein's monster among some of the other Halloween monster favorites? Is he super scary? Kind of scary? Or not scary at all? Personally, I'm not as worried about Frankenstein as I am about the other monsters that we'll be discussing throughout this series. Well, that's all I have for you gals and ghouls on this episode of Meet the Monsters. Tune in next week where we discuss another fur some creature. Until next time, happy haunting. <laughs> <laughs>